Good afternoon, yes, thanks for the good word. And our word today is coming out of 1 Kings 17, 6, and also 1 Kings 17, 1 through 16. Now, as we look at this word, saints, let's get, you know, acclimated with what the Lord is really saying to us so we can really know from a biblical perspective. You know, everybody have their, all of their sayings about this and about that, but let's look and see what the word says, because that's what matters. And at this right now, at this time of this going on right now, is when, um, you know, Elijah was in the middle of a famine. And the Lord sent ravens with bread and with meat in the morning and the evening to feed him. Now, in God's word, the Lord lets us know we never seen the righteous forsaking or begging for bread. Now, we're in the middle of a, of a, of a pandemic, and the Lord is making sure his is okay. The Lord is always going to make sure his is okay all the way from back in the day in the famine till now. So as we see 1 Kings 17, 6, and the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. So the word, the Lord was sustaining Elijah right now in the middle of the famine. The Lord is making the ravens go and feed him. What a wonderful thing this is, right? To be connected with the Lord who is over all things and will allow all things to work in your favor and to get his agenda done. This is beautiful, saints. So now we'll turn our attention to 1 Kings 17, 1 through 16. Let me read a little bit here. And it came to pass after a while that the brook of Cherith dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him and said, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. So as we see that the brook of Cherith dried up over here, and so the Lord told um, Elijah to get down to Zarephath house, he had commanded her to, you know, to take care of him there. So as he get down there and he's scoping out her place, he sees her, you know, get gathering sticks together and about to go in and make some food. So while she was going in, he told her to get him, you know, some water. So she, while she was going in to get him some water, he stopped her again and told her to give him some cake. He was hungry. And so she said, I don't have no cake. All I have is some morsel and a little bit of oil and I'm going in here to prepare it so me and my son can die because that's all that she had. So what Elijah told her was that you go and you make the morsel and you bring it to me first. Now, this is the key thing here is to first bring your tithes and offering to the Lord, to the man of God, so you can increase in what you're doing. Now, this is the key here is to bring your first of your tithes and your offering to the Lord. And the Lord will make sure that you increase. This is how you increase. And as we see from the rest of the story here that you know, her morsel and her oil never ran out and she had plenty, plenty, plenty. So this is a wonderful word that saints for us to, you know, see what God is saying about what we should do with tithes and offer. Not looking to man, but looking what God says, because what God says matters. What people say and what men say because they don't know don't matter at all, period. So this is a good, this is a good word for us saints just to get, you know, into God's word and just to, you know, see what God is speaking to us. And also right here in 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8, let us read this. Every man according as he had purpose in his heart, so let him give. You know, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God, you know, is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always have an all-sufficiency in all things. It may abound in every good work. So you see, as we give with a cheerful heart, you know, not out of grudgingly, you know, not out of necessity or not because, you know, this or that or, you know, but give with a good heart. And the Lord is able to make sure things abound to you, you know, in all sufficiency and, and all good things and have good works. It's a beautiful thing so to be in line and in category with the Lord so you can increase in knowledge of what the Father is doing. It's a beautiful thing in Jesus' mighty name. It's a wonderful word right here, saints. All right, you guys go ahead and be blessed and have a good evening.